Hello, I am Mac, at least for a day, and everything's going to be okay. This is episode 5 of Life, the Universe, and Everything, the, sh the series where I do everything I want in No Man's Sky, concentrating on the new features in the Synthesis update. In this episode, I'm going to go back to doing, uh, getting product recipes from manufacturing facilities and work on finishing that up. Don't have a whole lot of those left to do. So let's, we're going to head to another star system. Actually, I think I can go ahead and do this star system because I haven't done a manufacturing facility in this one yet, so it should work. All right. As I warped here as part of a experiment. Oh, hey, I forgot. I really want to install... Hmm. Maybe, maybe not. Let's see. Man, I really wish they hadn't messed it up so you can't send things to freighter unless you're on board your freighter. It's really annoying. Boy, I'm just going to start storing gold in my exosuit. I've got so much capacity in there now. I need to sell this. All right, so do I want to... See, we got the emergency warp unit. I would need more gold and four microprocessors. Ooh, I really want this thing. Uh, I, I would need platinum, which is also in my... Uh, let's go ahead and build these things. I'm going to go to my freighter, which I already called. Where is it? Where did my freighter go? There it is. Wait, is that mine? No, that's not my freighter, I don't think. No, or is it? Is that my freighter? It looks like it, but... Oh yeah, it is mine. <laughs> I was just going to say, I couldn't see all the frigates. Now I see them. Alright. So I'm going to, oh yeah, why don't I go ahead and just take out all the gold, silver, and platinum and store it on myself from now on. Okay, now Starship, I guess I'll go ahead and install it into the technology slots, because you can move technology now, so... May as well. Okay. What do I need for this? Oh, dang it. I just got rid of a tritium hypercluster. Darn it. I'm going to have to mine some more of those. But, okay, I can, I can craft carbon crystals. That was why I farmed for those. Thingies. Oh man, I need another need another slot. I think I might go do that. I might go get another inventory slot. I think I have everything out of my freighter I need. Uh, uh, let's go ahead and do this. What am I doing? Okay. I'm just going to build this here. Thing that makes the Pulse jet go faster. That's awesome. 
Cool. I'm gonna move this. Can I move this? Yeah. Oh no, this needs repaired. I need cadmium. Uh, I'll have to do that sometime. Anyway. Okay, now, in order to install this... I need tritium hyperclusters. Okay, this I can make. Just need to make microprocessors. I need... What? I don't have enough carbon? Uh, that's annoying. Hey, I'm gonna sell some stuff here. I wonder if I can buy carbon here. Should try. Probably not, but... Oh, I could turn oxygen into carbon, I think. Yeah, I might do that. Uh, let's sell Herox. These. That. Guess that's good. Okay. So I'm gonna just make some carbon real quick. With oxygen. What? Oh no, they changed it. Now oxygen makes living slime. Oh, no, no, no. It's because I had living slime in my inventory. <laughs> I was going to say. Okay, we need like... A hundred carbon. That's good. Okay, now... can make carbon nanotubes. Ah, dang it, I need a little more. There we go. There, now I should be able to make microprocessors. What were we doing that for? Was it... For this? Yeah. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll put it there. It's a good spot for it, I think. Whoops. Aye, aye, aye. Yay, emergency warp. Can't wait to try that out. Cool. All right, and I wanna add another technology slot to this. So I'm gonna go to the space station and do that. What was the other thing I needed to repair this? Oh, cadmium. I'd have to go to a red star for that. I might warp to a red star, but it's not big, not a huge priority. I'm gonna go through and scrap all my other ships at some point when I start looking for my dream ship. Ooh, we can try out the faster pulse engine. Hmm, I don't know, it doesn't seem a lot faster. But oh well. What did I need for this other thing?
Oh yeah, Tritium Hypercluster. I should farm that. It takes a little while to get Hyperclusters from Asteroids, but it's doable. I could use some more Tritium. Alright, let's... Let's go ahead and get that over with. Wonder if these give more hyperclusters. There's one. Already got one hypercluster. Ah, we overheated. This is giving me silver. I think it's the smaller ones that give the hyperclusters. There's one. Let's see, I think I need one more. Yep. There we go. Okay, we need to go into the space station. Ah. Stupid pirates. Alright. Yeah. Let's go ahead and upgrade this ship a little bit. Yeah, technology. So I guess I can choose whichever I want. Yeah, but I want another technology slot. Huh? Inventory is not transferred when changing ships. Transfer items to the new ship before... What? I'm not changing ships. Well, I'll reload a state if something bad happens. I think that's a bug that they talked about. Oi. I thought they just fixed that bug. Anyway, let's make this instability drive, increase fuel efficiency. Cool. All right. Let's see, is there anything else I want right now? This is all weapons. I could do this armor thing, but yeah, I might as well. I don't want to spend all my money, but yeah, I could put it in here. I'm going to move this again. And... Don't need those. I could use that, the teleport receiver, but nah. Let's just do this. Cool. 
Definitely don't want the launcher. Don't need cadmium or emerald drive. Teleport receiver could be useful, but not really. It's really not that great. <laughs> not a very long distance. Hmm. Conflict or economy scanner. Could be useful, but meh. They actually added a rocket upgrade, which is awesome. That's the first time they've ever added an upgrade to the rockets. But anyway, I think that's good for this ship at least. Whoa, you know what? I should move this stuff around a bit more. Um, can this be moved? Oh my gosh, I can move the photon cannon. That's cool. Oh, you can't move it if it's damaged. Okay, I really need to repair this, so let's do that next. We're going to go to a red star system. This will also be the check to see if the bug that makes you use all your fuel in VR is still in effect, which I'm guessing it probably is. Anyway, there's a red star system right there. The music bug is happening. No. Oh, they still didn't fix that bug that makes the music really loud. I'm going to have to turn my music off. Okay. So many stinking bugs. Actually, instead of... I turned it way down. Can't even hear it now. Let's see. Wow. Maybe that fixed it. It's not super loud now. At least I hope not. Okay, I guess we're good. All right, I need cadmium. Music seems good now. Turning it down seems to have fixed it. Well, nope. Okay, we'll put the music at one. So it's not insanely loud. 
Yeesh. That bug is really annoying. <laughs> I think I've got, I don't know. I need 125, I think. Don't think I even have that yet. Let's see. Oh, I do, good. Really tricky to scan eels and birds. There we go. Mm, that's a different kind over there, apparently. Can't believe this is at one volume. <laughs> that volume bug is so messed up. this. need an ion battery. Need cobalt. Uh, I think I can just make some cobalt. Hi, Who's. Does my music sound okay? Can you hear me? I got that volume bug. I had to turn my volume way down in order to not blast my ears out and make it so that none of you can hear me. Um... What am I doing? I forgot. Oh yeah, cobalt. Make some normal cobalt. That should be good. Okay, good. I had to turn my volume down to one. It's ridiculous. Okay, ion battery. Repair this. Okay, move this. Move this over there. Cool. That's a lot neater looking. Actually, let's move this here. This there. Uh. Uh, whatever. Anyway, good enough. Actually, you know what? Let's move it back. I'm so glad you can move technology around now. It's very nice. Okay. Yep. Yep, warping used all my fuel. Ugh, that's such a stupid bug. What the? Where'd my other warp cells go? 
I had... I had three. I only used my warp, warp hyper core. I had two. I had three warp cells. What the heck? Ah, stupid. Were they in here? Ah, oh well. Put one warp cell in. I'll have to make sure I only make them one at a time from now on. That's why I only add one warp cell at a time. Yep, that's the workaround I've had to use. So it's still bugged in VR. I'm going to have to report that bug again and the bug that makes you... Um, destroy buried technology when you use your terrain manipulator. Alright, time to get back to finding product recipes. What? Oh no, this is an uninhabited system. Ugh, wasted a planetary chart. Well, okay, I'm, oh, there's no space station here either. I'm gonna have to warp. That's annoying. Of course, it won't actually show me where. Whatever, I'm gonna warp. Oh no, it's gonna make my volume really loud again, even at one. Uh, I'm just gonna have to turn my music completely off, I guess. If that's what it's gonna do. Yeah, I think it increased my volume again. There. I'm just going to mute my music. Well, maybe it's okay. I don't know. What do you think, Who's? Are you still listening? It's kind of loud now. <laughs> maybe I should turn my volume up to maximum before I warp so that I can turn it down after I warp. Ugh, crazy. Yeah, can you hear me still, or is it, like, unbearably loud? Okay, good. Got an operations center. I, I mean, can you hear me now? Or is the music unbearably loud? Okay. Guess I'll leave it like this for now. I'm gonna be reporting a lot of bugs after this live stream. Okay, good. Ah, uh, fooey. Came in wrong. There we go. Wait, am I landing? There we go. Back to getting product recipes. There we go. Oh no, I didn't read any of that. Darn it. Ah. Uh, dang it. I'm going to reload a save. 
I didn't read what it said. I should have done that. I was skipping through it for some reason. See, this is why I've been using the Terminus Portal to go to different star systems. Because warping in VR makes the volume mess up like this. And also uses more warp fuel than it's supposed to. Boy. Okay, let's try this again. Okay, so it said a biological probe antenna launches from the terminal and fuses with my exosuit. I can't move. Interloper, electrification, punishment. Yeah, I definitely need to escape. Wish I'd have known. Okay, I use my jet sack propulsion to break the probe. It contains something useful. Darn. Ooh, I got mineral compressor. What? I didn't even know about that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's one of the things for frigates. Cool. So I won't have to waste my precious frigate module thingies on that. You can just get it from these things. It'd be nice if you could get all of the warp upgrades and stuff from here as well. Probably not, but who knows. Yeah, I don't... Oh, I definitely need the health. Because I lost a bunch of health to that abyssal horror earlier. Okay. Onward we go. I got something cool out of that. It'd be, it'd be really good if you could get all of the warp reactor blueprints from these things, but I'm guessing they probably didn't make it that easy. At least I can get some of the frigate upgrade thingies from it. Let's use the Terminus Portal to travel now. Oops.
All right. Let's get these moved somewhere. More convenient. Yay, manufacturing facility. I thought it was a uh, supply depot because it looks exactly like one on top. Huh? Where's the landing pad? Does this one not have one? Oh, there it is. Gotcha. An unknown fault has forced the whole system offline. There is a strange chill in the air, a sharp clarity to the atmosphere. Alert, alert. Uh, okay, it's not telling me much. I exhale as I ponder the words of the terminal. Condensation begins to cloud my visor. Activate incineration, supercharge, supercharge coolant, initialize charge cylinder sequence. Hmm. It says condensation begins to cloud my visor. So should I do coolant? I don't know. I'm going to try coolant. Dang it. Uh, okay, probably should have done incineration. I'm going to reload a save. Oops. I know it's cheap, but I want to hurry up, hurry this up and finally get all the product recipes. <sighs> Probably incinerator, I guess, because it was cold and that's why we, there was condensation. Again. something about it being too cold I'm guessing yay got it warmth spreads through the facility the air around me remains strange to look at but the production system returns online normal operations have resumed and I have accessed yay awesome got a new product recipe okay so we got all these that I needed for installing blueprints don't really want warp hypercore that's pretty much useless to me with the current bugs 
Definitely don't need unstable plasma. I never use grenades. So... We're gonna work on unlocking all of these. Ooh. I wanna get hot ice first. And then maybe these things. Yeah. Don't you need... Yeah, you don't need geodesite until the final step. So I'm not going to work on iridescite and geodesite until later. I can get all these and it'll be profitable before I get the final stuff that I need the iridescite and geodesite for. So I'm just going to do hot ice for now. Then we'll get those three bottom ones. There we go. That'll be good for when I make a lot of money later. I've got farms set up so that I can make that stuff, but we'll work on getting money later when I'm ready to upgrade my dream ship. Okay. On to the next star system. I go to a different star system each time before I use another planetary chart, because usually a planetary chart will send you to the exact same spot. It would just be a waste of a planetary chart. So I go to a different star system each time before I search for another manufacturing facility. Go. Sometimes I get this weird thing where I stop in midair even though my thrusters are on. Ooh, birdie. Giant birdie. There we go. Nice. Terminal barks a repeated warning. 
Though the words are unclear, the symbol is instantly recognizable. Something somewhere in this facility is on fire. Destroyed. A faint smoke begin. I even installed an auto translator and still not giving me hardly anything. Faint smoke begins to rise and my scanner registered a steadily increasing temperature. Star production chambers of oxygen. Ah, oh, dang. Uh, I'm going to guess it's a resource vaults. Star of resource vaults of oxygen. But, oh, maybe if I ch save the production chamber. Uh, let's try that. Ah, dang it. I hear a hiss as the air drains from the resource vaults beneath my fa feet. Slowly but surely, the heat levels start to drop. The fire is under control. Enough remains in the vault. I should be able to restore the facility to operational status. But it was a failure. I didn't get anything. Okay, I'm going to reload a save. Oi, annoying. I'm going to have to rescan those birds. <sighs> maybe I should have turned on sprinkler system. I don't know. Or maybe it's the other vault that's not working. I don't know. Even having an A auto translator doesn't give me hardly anything with things being translated. All right. Oh no, are the birds not here now? Or do I have to wait for them? There we go. Oh, they are scanned already. Interesting. Okay. Hey, it's Noob Protector. Noob Protector joined my group. Cool. Alright. Okay. I'm just going to... I'm going to try the next one. Yay, it worked. I hear a hiss as the air drains from the machinery chambers beneath my feet. The heat levels remain steady, however. The control terminal enters an automated shutdown. What? I still didn't get anything? Oh, forget that one. I don't think it gives anything good. Try something else. I got a success, but it still didn't give me anything. Oh, well. Let's head to the next one. What? I'm headed straight for Noob Protector. I didn't know you could do that. Whoa. Okay. Next destination. 
Yay. I've been getting manufacturing facility first lately. That's good. Doesn't waste as many planetary charts. Come on, land. There we go. Alarms blare, sounding out against my intrusion. The facility is remotely operated, and no one responds to the klaxon's call. What is a klaxon? The terminal indicates the facility was undertaking a specialized piece of research. Experiment, failure, common fuel element. Clarify. Terminal appears to be making, asking for manual conf confirmation of an experiment. Oh no, I need carbon. Can I try again if I leave? Okay, good. I'm gonna go get carbon. I think carbon is what it needs. So I just need some carbon. It said common fuel element. So yeah, it just needs carbon. Glad it lets me leave and try again. All right, that should be good. Okay, insert carbon. What? There's a pause there, then a rumber. Fire belches from the hot hopper. Smoke seeps from the terminal keyboard. The entire system shuts down. It said it, what the heck? Okay, I'm reloading. It said it needed common fuel element. That's, uh, aye aye aye. Yeah, that's so annoying. I don't get it. <laughs> when I know what they're saying, it actually makes it worse. It said common fuel element, as if it wanted common fuel element like carbon, but apparently not. I, I, so silly. <sighs> okay, let's try again.
Okay. I'm going to try continue experiment. Nope, that's wrong too. Ah, yeah, guy. Gotta reload again. Uh, I wish that knowing what it's saying actually helped you, but it just made things more confusing. Maybe if I knew all everything that it was saying, it would make more sense, but oh well. Okay, end experiment. Oh my gosh! That didn't work either! Oh, it did work! The, the alarm's still going, but I got a product recipe. Awesome! Yay! Okay, good, it did work. The alarm finally stopped. Okay, so let's get... I'm gonna get semiconductor first. Why not? Sorry, superconductor. Yay. Success at last. Alright, I think that's going to do it for this episode and for today. Um, I'll be back tomorrow with another episode. So, we got a lot done. I'm getting close to getting all the product recipes. I've gotten all of the, like, technology blueprints in the Nexus. So, we're definitely making a lot of progress. So, anyway, I have been Mac. Thank you for joining me for a day. And remember, everything is going to be okay.